welcome to another Minecraft Aquatic Adventure episode. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I actually have no idea. 50. Sure, why not? <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, I thought we would tackle some more advancements because, well, I mean, that's just kind of what we're doing at this point. Besides, obviously, the mansion and the water temple and then... Going back to the end, like respawning the under dragon, but that's also just an advancement in itself. So pretty much all we gotta do is follow the advancements and then we will, through that, tackle a bunch of other big things you can do in Minecraft survival. Anyways, <laughs> what I'm getting at here is, uh, let's go on over to the husbandry advancements and here, one of the achievements is breed all the animals, all the animals. So far we've only bred turtles and chickens, but there are horses, sheep, cows, mushrooms, pigs, wolves, ocelots, rabbits, and llamas that we still need to breed. And villagers, technically, you can breed, but you're not the ones that breed them. They breed themselves. You just have to confine them. So I don't think that actually falls under this. I'm assuming if it's saying 2 out of 11, so we got, we got the turtles and the chickens. So that means that there are 9 things left. Horse... Sheep, cow, mushroom, pig, wolf, ocelot, rabbit, llama. Perfect. That's nine more things. I'm assuming that's all we need to do. So I got a little list on the side here so I know um, exactly what sort of uh, what sort of items we may need, stuff like that. But without further ado, before we get into it, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause to today's chosen subscriber. Who shall be named Iron Bat Zero Zero? Thank you so much, Iron Bat, for subscribing. Guys, if you'd like one of the fish to be named after you in the aquarium, all you gotta do is comment your name down below, hit that subscribe button, and then you got a chance of being chosen next episode. Okay, let's get to it. We're going to need wheat, carrots, golden carrots. Ooh, so apparently horsies really like being bred with golden carrots. All right, all right, okay, okay. So if we go like this, that allows us to do three. Oh, we only got two carrots. Okay, I want to make sure that I get just more than enough. Um, wait a second, I just need one more carrot. Boop. Okay, and then we're going to need some wheat for the cows, mushroom, and sheep. And then we're going to need carrots for the pig. Only need a little bit of those. And then the dog, the dog likes having some meat. So they would have, would they have cooked chicken? They would have cooked chicken. They must be full health before they're able to be bred. Meat cannot be used to tame a wolf. Right, but it's okay because it's just to breed the wolves, which is what we're worried about. The thing is, is we need to find a jungle so that we can get some ocelots, but the thing is I wasn't able to find a jungle at all, even though I was looking for hours and hours. So I don't really know how we're supposed to complete all the achievements if we can't find one of the biomes. Another one of the advancements is going through all of the biomes, which seems impossible, even though it really shouldn't be, but it definitely just feels like that just because of how much trouble I've had with it so far. Let's see. So now rabbits will do carrots as well. Llamas. So a llama needs to be tamed and then you can breed them. Whoa. Does that mean if we want to breed horses, we need to tame another one? I think so. We got to tame another horse. How does one do such a task? Well, uh, you can feed them apples and wheat and then... Uh, yeah, then we put a saddle on him. No problem. Put a saddle on. We got some more diamond horse armor to give him. Okay, cool. I think we're ready to venture off. Perfect. Go ahead, grab you. Where the what the? Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, horsey. Oh, oh. And then there's all these different things here. Oh man. It's okay. We'll wait for the potatoes to to grow some more now. Off to, uh, well, we can come over here. I'm pretty sure there's cows. We can get the cow breeding achievement out of the way. Hello there, cows. Yes, yes, yes. Come here. Come here, you. You there, Mr. Cow. Very good. So you and you. Oh. No. Wait for it. Where's the baby? Where's the baby cow? Oh, there he is. Okay, so if we go to advancements now, that's three out of 11. So we successfully completed that quest. That was pretty easy. And now off to the piggies. I think I saw some piggies around here somewhere. Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. I know that there's some by the village. Okay, I thought we were about to fall in a big hole there. There's some by the village. We could trap some villagers as well, but actually, no, never mind. We realize that that's not quite part of the, uh, the taming advancement, which is probably a good thing. Now, I really need to sneeze right now. I am constantly sick. You guys know this about me. I am never not sick ever in life. There's always something wrong with me. Uh, we passed a sheep, but I didn't see multiple sheep. There are all multiple bunnies right here, though. Hey, yeah, a nice little jump right there. Okay, can we get two bunnies right beside each other, please? There's one bunny there. There was a bunny back there. Can we just find some that are, like, standing right next to each other? That would make... Oh, hey, hello. Don't worry, don't worry. Look, look, look. I have carrots. Oh, look. Bunnies. Look. I have carrots. He got some for you and then some for you. Oh, are they going to make a little baby bunny? Oh, it's a little baby bunny. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so bunny's out of the way now. Man, we're just getting right through this. Speedy quick. What do we got next? Uh, sheep and mushroom. Not exactly too sure where we're going to find mushroom. Obviously, it's on those mushroom islands, but that can be pretty difficult to discover. We're gonna have to do that anyways, though, in order to get that biomes advancement. Uh, okay, so it's just pigs. Then we'll tame a horse. We're gonna have to find llamas. Where do you find llamas? I don't know. That's probably another thing that you just discover through exploring. Well, maybe we'll just have to do some giant exploration episode in that case. Okay, sheeps and pigs. There's pigs right over here, and there's sheep right over there. This is perfect. Hello there, piggies. Go here, you go here, get yes, uh, a carrot. Do you get a carrot? <gasps> Come on, piggies. Let's see that baby piggy. Oh, there he is. Okay. Do I have auto jump on? Ew. Ew. Why is auto jump on? That's disgusting. Okay, good. Let's see. The sheep were over here. And then, uh, let's see. Wolves, actually. We could find... So it needs to be a tamed wolf. Oh, man, I didn't bring any bones. That's okay. Hello there, sheepies. You can have some, and then you can have some. We need to get some bones, tame some wolves, and then we can breed them. But there are horses around here somewhere, I believe. So I need to tame the horse, and then I can breed them. I might not actually necessarily have to bring it back, which would be fine, because I'm totally fine with just having one horse. Okay. Hello there, horsey. Would you go ahead and do like some, uh, some wheat? There you go. I'll even give you some apples. Maybe you'll especially like some apples here. There, how about that? Eh. I'd like to... You go to... Let's be honest. Do you love me? Eh? Eh? Come on, horsey. He hasn't kicked me off yet. Oh, <gasps> yay! Okay, now. Will you guys love each other? Is it gonna happen? Is it happening? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> baby horse! Yes, we did it! Okay, cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this on you regardless, but I'm just gonna leave you here because I don't really care about that stuff. But if I come, if I stumble across you one day, then at least you'll have that stuff on you and then I can use it to my advantage. Uh, okay, we gotta go back home and get some bones. So I'll just cut the recording real quick and we will be right back. Hello guys, we are back. There should be some doggies somewhere around here. <gasps> there's one, there's one, and there's two. I need sneeze. <coughs> uh, I think I'm good. I don't think I have snot everywhere. <laughs> Okay, doggies. I gotta breed you first, real quick. I uh, hear you, and come on, you love me now? Yes, you do, you love me. Okay, then what about over here? That's not a dog, that's not a dog at all. Way to trick me. And he sneezed. Where's the other dog, where did he just go? Mr. Doggy, hello? Thought I saw you up here, there you are. Okay, come on, dude, there we go. Jeez, man, how many bones do you need? Come over here with me. Come here, doggy. Oh, good boy. And then you're right, yeah. And now I need to breed you guys with some cooked chicken. <laughs> Jeez, he's good. Ah. Okay, doggies, there's you. Okay, here, you have some, and then you have some. Are you guys gonna, here we go. <gasps> Is it happening? Oh, it's a baby puppy. Oh, look at him. Look at the little doggy. Yes. Okay. Let's look at these advancements now. What do we got? Eight out of 11. That's pretty good, guys. Now it's just mushroom, ocelot, and llama. Not too bad. Not too bad. We can do it. Okay, doggies. Are you still going to love me? Are you still going to venture with me? I hope so. Where's my... Where's my... 
my horsey. Here's my horse right here. Hey, buddy. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the dogs just teleport to you if um, if you go too far away from them, which is a, a beautiful thing about the dogs. You really don't have to worry about them. They will always be with you no matter what. That's pretty much all we can do in terms of breeding for now. So uh, the rest is just kind of up to exploration and uh, finding a bunch of different biomes. So I suppose we could go ahead and look at another advancement to tackle. Um, eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. And then this one is just using up a diamond hoe. We could start brewing some potions, actually. That wouldn't be too bad. Get some potions brewing, and then we can take them all at once. The craziest potion spree ever. <laughs> Does that mean, though, that I would need to make a potion of Turtle Master as well? I think I would. Can I make this jump? Oh, that was an amazing jump. Good job, horsey. Yeah. Okay. We're still good. I'll probably need to look up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look up a brewing chart real quick. And then we can use our diamond hoe some more. Always gotta get those uses in there as much as we can. And we could do some mining to try to uh, add to the add to the beacon tower as well. Okay, doggies. Oh, the baby's here too. Oh, all right, dogs. You wanna come in here? Come now. Come here, doggies. Okay, go, come on, come on, come on, more in, more in. Come into the house. Hey, hey, come on. Oh, little puppy. You want to sit down? Good. Dog. Hey, you gonna come in or what? Go. Eh, there. It's almost night time. I need you guys to sit down. You gonna go slightly over here, all right? Eh, good. Then you, you want to come over here? Come here, old puppy. No, where are you going? You want to come sit over here? Hey, hey, dogs. You want a bone? Some chicken? Here, how about that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, you sit right there. Hey, you. How about you? Come here. Come here. Hey. Come on. You need to move. I need you in the corner there. Eh. I just can't you. Ha I can't be having you in the middle of my house. Hold on. We're this way. D dude, this way. Eh. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. There, one big happy family. <laughs> okay, perfect. And now, it is bedtime. Uh, I need to look up some potions. Let's see here. Yeah. So just double checking the advancement here. Have every potion effect applied at the same time. So what that means, there is a potion of swiftness, potion of slowness, potion of leaping, potion of strength, potion of healing, potion of harming, potion of poison, potion of regeneration, potion of fire resistance, potion of water breathing, potion of night vision, potion of invisibility, potion of turtle master, potion of slow falling, and then a potion of weakness. So that is 15 potions. Doable, doable. So I suppose let's get started. Have every potion effect applied at the same time. Yeah, and I'm assuming it doesn't mean like fire resistance plus or healing too. I'm assuming it just means like healing, strength, stuff like that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get into it, I suppose. So let's see what kind of potions we have right now. We already have a potion of slow falling and then a potion of weakness. Uh, we should probably have like a dedicated chest for this or something. Um, here is what we can do. We'll go like this, yeah. And then... There, you know what? You can go right there for now. It's fine. And those are going to be all of our potions. Um, so awkward potions we can use now to make... Oh, I suppose we can go from the top down. Let's go potion of swiftness to start with uh, these. And then we're going to have a whole lot of extra potions after this too. Which is good because then we'll just have a little potion chest. And we can do whatever we want with it. It'll be pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, potion of swiftness. And then a potion of slowness if we add a fermented spider eye. Which we will want to do. So let's go ahead and make one of those. This would require one of you. And then a spider eye and a piece of sugar. And so, go ahead, go ahead, grab you. Then we have this, this year crafting table. Uh, there we go, fermented spider eye, so I'll grab, that's potion of swiftness, and then might as well just do one fermented spider eye for the potion of slowness. Then a potion of leaping uses a rabbit's foot. Go ahead and grab one of those, 
Maybe fill this with some more water. We should get some more bottles going. We're gonna need a lot more bottles, that's for sure. And we're gonna need to convert them pretty much all into awkward potions. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Okay, let's make a bunch of those then. So how many bottles do we want? Uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That should be plenty. There, 30 bottles. Should be all right, should be fine. So. We could get two brewing stands going. That'd be pretty insane. Um, if we're gonna be going crazy potion master style, then uh, yeah, yeah that, 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 it, it only makes sense. Um, yeah, like that for now. That's where our potions go. So weakness, potion of swiftness, and then a potion of slow falling. And then we have these here, water bottles. And let's go three more of those and then do we have another brewing stand i don't think so how do you make a brewing stand again i always forget do you need like stone and then oh i'll just look it up real quick oh okay easiest thing in the world you need a three cobble which we're probably holding right now and then you grab a blaze rod we are not holding any cobble right now never mind <laughs> we'll come over here there you go it's always good to have a little bit on you and then we just go boop and we got a whole nother brewing stand. Go like this, and then some more blaze powder for you. No, 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 you go right there. All right, so let's get some awkward potions going. One, two, so you there, and then potion of slowness, very good. And then we'll go ahead, put you in day, three more water bottles, and then potion of swiftness. We already have one in there, so that's just an extra potion. We're gonna try to get as many extra potions as we can and then it'll be good. But this is the one that we all need to. This will be like the super cocktail, the furious cocktail, one could say. Okay, so these are all awkward potions. So now we can have one turn into a potion of leaping. Maybe we should just go one at a time, I'm thinking. Yeah, because then we can put these other ones in. Okay, potion of strength will be blaze powder. So let's just go ahead and convert a little bit there. We're gonna need only one of those. That's potion of strength. Potion of healing is a glistening watermelon. We don't have any watermelon. We're gonna have to go to a jungle for that. That sucks. Okay, we can make a potion of harming. So I first gotta do a potion of poison and then we'll need another fermented spider eye on top of that as well. Are we running out of spider eyes? I think we are. Gonna have to kill some spiders tonight. So let's see, we need another fermented spider eye here. Uh, what to do? Grab you, need one of you, and then one of you. Very nice, very nice. We can now do a, okay, so we got a bunch of awkward potions here. A potion of strength, potion of strength. However, doesn't turn into anything else. So that's fine to just go potion of strength there and then potion of leaping. Very nice, very nice. So I'll go spider eye. Uh, yeah, because then we'll have a poison one and then we can do a harming one from one of these. You have to add the fermented spider eye to an already poisonous potion and then a ghast tier. We have to go kill a ghast. We have to get a ghast tier and we have to get a glistening watermelon. The only places you find watermelon is either in mine shafts or in a jungle. I'm pretty sure. So here, that's a potion of poison, and then that turns into a potion of harming. That's a potion of strength, very nice. Um, magma cream does fire resistance, and then a puffer fish does water breathing. Do we have any more puffer fish? Ooh, I don't think so. Ho oh, ho, no sir, we do not. I do have a carrot though and a carrot can be used to do night vision, and then with a fermented spider eye, it's invisibility. We need way more spider eyes. Okay, that's potion of harming, which is just instant damage. Um, how does that work though, in terms of like all potion effects applied at the same time? <laughs> it's not really an effect, it just instantly does something to you. Yeah, I don't really get how the effects work. I think it's only the ones that have a timestamp on them. I think so. The fact that it's called Furious Cocktail means I can probably just look it up. Minecraft Furious Cocktail. So it's 11 potions, actually. Fire resistance, invisibility, jump boost, night vision. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's just the ones that have a lingering effect on you. So it's actually only 11. All right. All right. All right. Well, it's a good start. That's for sure. Um, we need a puffer fish, way more spider eyes. I suppose we'll just go from there. We can put some of these things away. I might as well keep you in there. Okay. Is it nighttime? Not quite yet. 
Will it be soon? Yes, yes it will. Okay, let's go find a puffer fish then real quick. I'm gonna throw these things away. Alright, very good, very nice, very nice, yes. They're not in there, you go in there. Good, okay. Alright, so, puffer fish. Let me puffer fish around. Might as well come in here. There's all these turtles everywhere. There's one in my boat again. How many times do I have to tell you guys that you can't be sleeping in my boat? Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. Let's go find a puffer fish. Hmm, we could just do some fishing. But we could also just go seek out the puffer fish ourselves. Where could a puffer fish be? Really, they shouldn't be hard to find at all. Yellow puffer fish. Hmm, you'd think that there would be fish everywhere in these coral reefs. Doesn't really seem to be the case. It's almost nighttime. So we might as well go to the killing grounds. Yes, yes, get a lot more spider eyes. What else do we need? We need a ghast tier. Could do that. I don't see any puffer fish. Is that one down there? Ooh, it's a tiny little baby. Oh, hello, little puffer fish. If you don't mind me, I just need to come back here. Come back here. Come on, no puffer fish. Yeah, that's right. How about that? Hey, eh. Okay. We got a puffer fish. We needed that. We gotta go get some spiders. Oh, land ho. Good, good, good. We will find these spiders. And they will regret being spiders, at least when I find them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello there, Sir Skeleton. Ow. Hey, man. Very uncool. Very uncool. Thanks for the pants, though. We'll take that. Hang them up on my wall, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm actually looking for spiders, so don't mind me. I'm just gonna have to kill you real quick, nab up that XP, and then run after these spiders. It'd be nice to find a mine shaft. I think if we just went and did a bunch of cave exploration, we could potentially maybe stumble across something like that. You guys, though, are just being a nuisance, so I'm gonna have to put an end to you. I apologize. There we go. Spiders, spiders, there's a witch over there. I do not care for that witch. Oh, is that a little cute little bunny? Oh, it is? Okay. Again, I do not care for these bunnies either. Just want spiders. You there, spider. Hit, yeah. Drop those eyes. No, I've only gotten one spider eye so far, which isn't, I mean, I don't know. It's not terrible. We did just start, so it's okay. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Oh, hey there, Mr. Creep. Oh, don't mind if I just real quick. Okay, never mind. That worked out really nicely. Hit. Hey, where's there a stick? I did a stick drop. I don't know. Oh, whoa. Lots of skeletons over there. Why are there so many skeletons? Do more skeletons spawn the higher the difficulty? I don't know. Are skeletons considered to be one of it, the harder mobs to go up against? Perhaps. Hello there, Mr. Spider. Ah. Okay, thank you. Oh, I will gladly take that spider eye. No! Ooh, I do not want to die right now. Oh. There we go. Not too bad. I should probably be paying attention to my health. Especially because 23 levels, we got here just from playing the game. I do not want to lose 23 levels again. <laughs> Who knew? New, new, new. Lots of Endermen, though. Mm, don't really need their Ender Pearls, though. Okay. It'd be cool making a potion that required a Eye of Ender, because it'd be like some sort of, oh, seeing eye. Ooh. But I don't know. What do I know? What do I know, guys? I don't know anything about this game. Long shot. No. Long shot. There it is. Quickly swim my way over here. I know there's spiders. Wow, we went straight from swimming into a full sprint. We're getting pretty good at this whole Minecraft thing. We do have four spider eyes, which isn't too bad. That's like realistically all we'll need, but since we're out here farming anyways, like might as well just go nuts with it. Extreme destruction. Yeah. There we go. And now I have some sort of weird zombie infection, even though I didn't even have any flesh. Well, that's just great, isn't it? There's a desert village over there. But we do not care for this desert village. No. We only care for the spiders in the area. There is one over here. Okay. I do hear a zombie somewhere. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm coming for you. And only you. I should really be using my bane of arthropods enchantments for this spider farming because then uh, I'm pretty sure it deals crazy damage to spiders and they just don't stand a chance so that'd be pretty cool 
uh, but that's okay because we already got that sharpness four. Hey, sharpness four, not too bad. Oh, it's a little baby zombie. Oh no, you don't. I absolutely despise your kind. Eh, eh. Well, still four spider eyes. We could be doing a lot better, but that's okay. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Another spider. What about you, witch? Will you give me a, a potion that could help in my quest? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there, Mrs. Witch. Okay. Anything? Anything at all? No cool potions, anything like that. Oh, I hear a spider. Oh, you're dying to a cactus, you poor little thing. There's another spider over here too. Oh, spiders galore. Yeah, yeah. Still four spider eyes. I did not think that it was this rare of a drop. I feel like I always just kind of didn't care about spider eyes. Turns out they're actually pretty handy. Fairly useful. All right, that's too many skeletons. I'm, I'm bouncing. You though, I'm big fan of you, big fan of that spider eye you just dropped. Thank you very much. Well, the moon is somewhat kind of almost setting, so I suppose we could start heading back. Oh, there's three spiders over there though. I cannot be missing this opportunity. <sighs> okay, jean Beige, don't worry. I'll just go ahead and go put you right out of your misery. No, you though. There we go. Thank you for the spider eye. Can we all get spider eyes? No, just the one. Two. Two is good. You know what? Seven spider eyes? I'll take it. I'm okay with that. And I believe it is time to head home. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, can you make... <gasps> you can make pumpkin pie, can't you? That's a thing. How do you make pumpkin pie? We have pumpkins, I'm pretty sure. Just in case, I'm gonna grab one more. I've always seen this one right here, but I never did anything with it. Thank you. I will bring this pumpkin home because we do need to make pumpkin pie. You know, we need to eat whatever it is that we can. Okay, what I'll do, I'm probably gonna leave it off there, ladies and gentlemen. And then uh, next episode, we can move straight on to the next advancements. Maybe we'll have one big exploration episode. We go off and uh, maybe we'll make an ender chest and then we won't have to worry about losing all of our stuff. We could go get that horse that's by the village, and then if we lose that horse, we just don't really care. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll, uh, I'll take a look at the advancement, see what makes the most sense uh, at, from where we're at right now. And uh, yeah, but other than that, guys, on that note, I would like to thank you so much for joining me for another Minecraft aquatic adventure. If you enjoyed, please do remember to leave it a like, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the Sir Meow's Lot backpack now available at DennisDaily.com. Link in the description below. But other than that, again, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next one.